Welcome to Dom the Beachcomber in Madeira Beach, Florida. I am here to have dinner with friends and you're going to come along for this adventure, this lovely tiki adventure. They really did a great job decorating this restaurant. This is the table that we'll be sitting at. There were 15 of us. Now for the history of Don Beach, he was an American adventurer businessman, and he is considered the founding father of tiki culture and opened a place called Don the Beachcomber during the 1930s in Hollywood. And there was a bunch of restaurants in California. The last one of those restaurants actually closed in 2018 in Orange County. Then in 2022, a Florida company, the same company that owns uh, Ford's Garage, they bought the rights to the name and they've been building this and they plan to open more than just this one in Madeira Beach. So there'll be one in Orlando and in Fort Lauderdale. So hopefully one by you soon and you have to go. I would take this opportunity to show you my earrings that I got at a Hukilao a few years ago. They actually light up. They're jellyfish and they're extremely cool. It tells you how strong the drink is. I'm probably <laughs> looking in this area because this stuff is too much for me. Or I'm sure they probably have mocktails. And one of the main reasons I got it is because it's a one on the level, so it's not super strong. Also, it has passion fruit in it, which I am a huge fan of. So, let's give it a whirl. Now, I have made these at home. Uh, I made a short on it. If I can find it, I'll put that up there. But this is their version. It is delicious. It's definitely a tiki drink. Tiki drinks have a certain flavor to them. And this is amazing. Actually, let's see what else is in it. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, so this has gin, the passion fruit, the valernum, which is made with rum, the orgate, which is like an almond flavor, and then fresh lemon. It's fabulous. So this place is not only just about the tea it's also about the food. So this is the Grand Brand food, and it's different than the kind you get like in a, another Asian restaurant because it's not super green cheesy. It's more crab to me than green cheesy, but they're very good, and the sauce, a little bit on the spicy side, but I can handle it. So this is the coconut shrimp. Now it doesn't come with this sauce. That's from my crab rangoon that I added. It comes with this sauce. This is like a curry. And it's not horrible with the curry, but I just prefer a sweet and sour sauce with my coconut shrimp. And it comes with some steak fries. We got some chicken satay over there with peanut sauce. Look at that ice cone. That's so neat. What's the name of this drink? Navy grog. The Navy grog. Okay. Very cool. Bacon blue burger. Okay, bacon blue burger. They have a lot of burgers to choose from on this night. I don't know that we're going to get dessert, but that's what they have. And then these after dinner drinks. 
So if you do get the pineapple upside down cake, it's cute and it comes with ice cream. It looks delicious. So this is the rice pudding with caramel sauce. What's that other one? Coconut. And coconut. Okay, very cool. That's one of their desserts. So this is the outside section. There are tables out on the street, but the fun part is actually in here. And look at the, they, the detail they did in putting all this stuff on, all the carvings and everything. They did a really good job decorating this place with all the glass orbs and the puffer fish and just all the, uh, the sculpting. It's actually really cool. So this is actually in Madeira Beach. We are actually on the corner of the Tom Stewart Causeway. And so this is not on the actual ocean side or the Gulf of Mexico side. Um, I'll turn the camera and you can see kind of where I'm at, but it's actually in the bottom of the hotel here. And I will show you that as well. But it's a, it's a really cool, it's the Cambria, the Cambria Hotel. And it's a, it's a really cool place to come out to, uh, whether you just take a trip like we did for the day with some friends from the Tiki Go Go people. Uh, the Tiki Go Go event is in April, if you guys are interested in that. So it was a really fun night, great drinks and things like that. I'm actually standing outside because it's not as loud as it is inside. And I'm gonna wrap it up out here, but I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you the hotel. So this is the name of the hotel called the Cambria. And you can see they have a sign for Don the Beachcomber. I don't know if you can see that well from over here, but Don the Beachcomber sign is right there on the side of the building. And you come downstairs and you can have uh, yourself some uh, tiki cocktails and a meal. Now over here, there's Tom Stewart Causeway. So you see that's Tom Stewart Causeway. And if you keep going down to that end right there and make a left at that light down there, that's Gulf Boulevard. So that over there is where the ocean is. So that's kind of like where we're located over here. And that is what Don the Beachcomber is here in Madeira Beach, Florida. Now they are building other locations. I understand there's going to be one in Orlando, one in Fort Lauderdale, but this was the first that they have opened so far, owned by the same people as Ford's Garage. And I will definitely be back. So on that note, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure.